Hi, I'm Eric with Simply Elegant Home Cooking. Today I'm going to show you my recipe for braised pulled pork shoulder with a warm spice rub. And we're going to make a gravy from the pan drippings. This is a really, really great fall recipe. Really interesting blend of spices. Stick around. Let me show you how it's done. So the preparation for this spice pulled pork actually starts the day before. I like to let my spices soak in for a full 24 hours. Uh, you could probably get by with 18, but you want to be sure to uh, let it go overnight. So I have about a five pound bone in pork shoulder. I've trimmed off some of the excess fat, but you don't have to go crazy there. You can leave a little bit of it on. So this is the spice rub that I'm going to be using today. I have a heaping teaspoon each of black pepper, cumin, coriander, cardamom, and cinnamon. I also have two teaspoons of sea salt and three tablespoons of sugar. And you want to start by getting all those spices into a large uh, Ziploc bag, freezer bag. Just be careful not to spill anything. So you just want to get uh, all your spices in there and just mix this around a bit until it's evenly incorporated. And once those spices are mixed up a bit, you can add in the pork shoulder. And five pounds is about the maximum you can fit into a gallon bag, but we got it in there. So once you get everything in your Ziploc bag, you just want to mix this around until you've thoroughly coated all portions of the exterior of your pork. So this will just take another minute or two, shaking the bag like this, spinning it around. Okay, and that's how your spiced pulled pork should look at this stage. You just want to make sure that all sides are coated very evenly with that spice uh, mixture that we created. So what I did off camera, I took as much of the air out of this bag as possible and made sure that I have a tight seal. Now I'm just going to pop this into the fridge and we'll check back tomorrow in about 24 hours. And this should be nice and uh, spiced up for us when we're ready to cook. Okay, so here's how everything looks the next day. Our pork shoulder has been uh, in the refrigerator for a full 24 hours, giving plenty of time for all those spices to really uh, permeate deep uh, into the meat. That's going to give some amazing flavor as we braise this pork shoulder. So uh, what I've done, I've taken this out of the fridge an hour before the cooking time, patted it dry with some paper towels, and I have an oven preheated at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, and I have a large pot also preheating on the stovetop on medium-high heat. Okay, and what you want to do, uh, I have a couple tablespoons of neutral flavored oil in this uh, seven quart stock pot. Uh, I let that come up to temperature on medium high heat and add it in the pork shoulder. We just want to sear this on all sides and all edges until there's some really, really good color, which is going to give us great flavor uh, before we put this in the oven. So we'll check back in a few minutes once we've browned all sides of the pork. Okay, and after about 15 or 20 minutes, this is how your pork shoulder should look on all sides. I've moved it around. I've hit the sides and all edges. So at this point, we still have the heat on medium high. I'm going to add in the beer. Now I'm using just a regular Sam Adams lager. I put in about two thirds of it. And what we want to do, we want to let that come up uh, back to a boil. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to turn off the heat and I'm going to cover this up and put it in the oven that's preheated at 275 degrees. So I let the pork shoulder go in the oven uh, for about four and a half hours. Usually anywhere in that four to four and a half hour range is good. Uh, you just want to wait till it's uh, basically fallen off the bone. Um, <clears throat> you know, you definitely want to make sure that it gets cooked all the way. You'll notice that mine is a little, um, you know, a little mangled up because I went in there and tested it. This is what you're looking for. You just want to make sure that that falls apart easy, uh, you know, with your tongs or your spatula. So I took the pork out of the braising liquid and here's what we're left with. Uh, you'll notice that this uh, totally fell apart in the process. That's actually a good thing, not a bad thing. And we're left with several cups of the braising liquid. Now this is liquid gold. We're going to use this to make an absolutely delicious gravy. Let me show you that process. This is actually my favorite part of the recipe. And the first step is to pour all that braising liquid through a fine mesh strainer. That's just going to remove any uh, small particles or burnt bits uh, from the liquid. It's going to give us a really smooth sauce. And what you'll notice if you look closely, that layer of fat, all that fat from the pork shoulder melts out during the braising process and it'll float to the top. So I'm just going to separate that out 
uh, before we make the gravy. And I just use this OXO fat separator. It works really, really well, but you could use a spoon or just whatever you like. Uh, we have a little bit more than two cups of the uh, liquid that's been strained out. You can see uh, we got quite a bit of the fat that's not going to be in the final dish. So the first step in making our gravy, uh, once we have our braising liquid all strained out and ready, is to make a roux. So I have about two and a half tablespoons of butter. What you want to do, you want to melt that down just till it begins to foam and you want to put in an equal portion of flour. So I'm going to go in with two and a half tablespoons of flour. And what you want to do on medium low heat, you want to just mix this around. Uh, we just want to get some of that raw taste out of the flour. So you want to keep this moving. Be sure not to let it burn. I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit actually. Uh, so you just want to cook this until um, you know any of those raw pieces are out of it. it just takes about a minute or two. Okay, and it doesn't take long. Just once you've um, gotten rid of any of the raw flour, you want to go in with just a small amount of the braising liquid. You don't want to add this all, you know, all at once. You want to add a little bit at a time. And what that's going to do, along with this roux we've created, it's going to prevent any lumps. It's going to give us a really, really smooth sauce. So you can add a little bit at a time, um, you know, until you've added the whole two cups of the braising liquid. I'm going to turn the heat up uh, to medium as we stir this in. And as we've added that in and stirred, uh, you can see we have a really nice smooth sauce. I'm just going to add in the last of the braising liquid. Give that a final stir. And at the same time, I have some uh, pasta water coming up to temperature. I like to serve this over egg noodles, which is optional. Uh, usually either egg noodles, some type of mashed potatoes goes great. Uh, as an accompaniment to this pulled pork gravy that we're making. Just going to bring that back up to a simmer. Okay, and once your sauce has really thickened up like so, I'm going to add in about three teaspoons of cider vinegar. That's just going to give it a nice tang. It's going to go really well with those warm spices. So I'm going to get that in there, give it a stir to incorporate that. And I'm going to turn the heat down uh, to medium low. Uh, we just want to let this kind of chill out for a few minutes while we wait on the egg noodles. And we're just about ready to serve this all up. Okay, so our noodles are going to be ready any moment. Uh, at this point, I'm going to turn the heat off the gravy and throw in just the last ingredient. I'm going to go in with just a little bit of chopped cilantro. Uh, use this ingredient even if you think you don't like it. It goes really, really well in this dish. So I'm going to get a little bit in there and just give that a stir. And in just a minute, I'll be ready to strain out the noodles and put this uh, pulled pork gravy and egg noodles dish together. Okay, so here is our dish plated up, braised pulled pork shoulder with a warm spiced rub served over egg noodles with the homemade gravy from those pan drippings. Let's see how everything turned out. I've just served this up by mixing it all together, garnishing with a little bit more of the cilantro and a couple grinds of uh, grac of cracked black pepper. Mm. You can just really taste those spices all throughout the pork. Really just infuse uh, that gravy with a delicious flavor to really bring this all together. Um, you saw how easy this dish was to make. This is a couple hours invested of your time, uh, but it's pretty much passive cooking. You just throw it in the oven for about four hours and let the, the magic happen. So I really hope you enjoyed this dish. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Eric from Simply Elegant Home Cooking, and I'll see you again soon.